This How to Do Florida segment is presented by Visit Florida. Miami, there's no place like it. It's like another world, a party that never ends. I mean, Miami's got a distinctive uh, feel. It's got, a, it's got color, it's got class, it's got culture. All that just combined to make one of Florida's unique cities. But less than a mile away, in the middle of Biscayne Bay, a piece of Florida history hovers above the blue-green waters. Welcome to Stiltsville. Seven homes scattered throughout the bay, built on stilts, just above the water. I headed out with Charles Redding, a member of the Miami Springs Powerboat Club, which is one of the caretakers of a Stiltsville home. I mean, visually, it's just kind of like, wow, there's houses out here. What are they doing? What are they doing out here? You know, I've always wanted to come out here and see Stiltsville, and, and now that I'm out here, it's really just, it, it's absolutely captivating to see these homes up on stilts out in the middle of the bay here. Beautiful blue water that surrounds them. Absolutely just a spectacular visual out here. Stiltsville started as one building in 1933, and at one point, as many as 27 homes stood in the bay. These homes offered an escape from the bustling city life of downtown Miami. You know, even from a little kid, it was nice, it was a novelty and it was fun. But now that I'm a little older and I see what has been here for so long, it, it makes me proud of the history of where I grew up. Now this is cool. This is called the A-frame house. Built at large telephone poles in an A, an A-frame. To date, it's one of the stronger, more durable structures out here. And they have to be strong. These fragile structures consistently suffer wear and tear from the elements. Sun, salt, fires, and the worst, hurricanes, have left only seven standing in the bay. A testament to a different time and the sheer will of their makers. They're all up on pilings for a reason so that the, the floor bed will grow and we won't destroy any of the grassy beds. will allow the life to come back into the bay. But keep in mind, it's currently illegal to set foot on the houses without proper authority. Although Stiltsville homes can no longer be privately owned, people like Charles Redding continue their efforts to preserve a piece of the past. A, um, a group called the Miami Springs Powerboat Club, and uh, there's quite a few of us that act as caretakers for the house. So we'll maintain it, and um, basically we try and promote the conservation of the water and, and the livelihood of South Florida by maintaining the old Stiltsville houses. The best way to experience these houses is to book a tour or you can boat out to them and enjoy them from a distance. Wow, pretty amazing. When you visit Miami, be sure to look out in the bay. Maybe even book a Stiltsville charter. But don't miss one of Florida's great gateways to the past. This How to Do Florida segment was presented by Visit Florida.